Hi, thank you for coming by. It's Tori Magoo from Tori Magoo 44. I appreciate all of you coming by my web or my YouTube account. And also thank you for the PMs and the kind emails and messages you've all sent. I am sorry it's taken me a while to get back to you. I'm doing the best I can. I've been pretty busy lately <laughs> in a good way. All right, so tonight I'm just going to take a minute to thank each of you for everything you've done. When you're in a cult, it's really pretty amazing, especially in Scientology, they really build in the fear of leaving. I mean, L. Ron Hubbard said your entire eternity depends on staying on the bridge to total freedom, right? I mean, that's a lot. And, and when you buy into it, you kind of, it's like, wow, my entire eternity, right? So now when you're leaving, I mean, people have actually mentioned it to me. Scientologists have come on my YouTube account and it's like, you know, well, you know, your entire eternity is destroyed because of what you're doing. And I want to tell people, if anybody's lurking, I'm doing great. It is the best thing that ever happened to me. The day I've told people this, is, it sort of feels like this, like you're swimming upstream for years, for like 30 years, like trying to get to OT or whatever it is. And finally, you just go, you know what? This is not working. And you turn around, go downstream, and it's so easy. It's just so amazing. And all of you are part of that going downstream. It has just been so great to be surrounded by wonderful, kind, gentle people that have been helpful and supportive. And uh, there's people years ago that started fighting this battle in the 80s, and maybe even earlier, but the ones I knew were in the 80s. And they, when they stepped out, they were fighting this totalitarian organization all by themselves. There was no internet. There was a little group of people that would kind of band together, but that was about it. And Scientology was everywhere, black PRing them and trashing their names and stuff like that. But they still fought for it, and I think it's really fantastic. I just talked to Bent Corden, who wrote the book, L. Ron Hubbard, Man Man Madman or Messiah. Great book. And I was telling him about Anonymous, and he was just like, wow, that is just amazing. He didn't know anything about it. He happens to be traveling, and he just came back, and he was so excited about it. And me too. But, you know, they he was like Paulette Cooper. You know, back in their day, they were by themselves, pretty much, with a few other people, ex-Scientologists that had left. But they were very, very, very much on their own, and very courageous for doing so. Then came the critics in the 90s, and they've just been fantastic. I mean, they've set up websites and information and shared it and, you know, created more media. It's just been terrific. And now to have Anonymous come along, it's just unbelievable. It's just been a tremendous thing for many, many people, more than you guys even know, because there's people on the sidelines, things are happening to them. But uh, one gentleman recently sent me these beautiful flowers that I want to show you. Aren't they pretty? He sent them, and I think Corey would agree that we should dedicate them in honor of all of the wonderful people that were in Scientology and passed away, or the children, the young people who took their lives and their families who lost them. And I also want to dedicate this to all of you, every single one of you who is standing up against the abuses of Scientology. Because it takes a lot of courage, and it's really great. It really makes a difference. You might think, ah, you know, who cares? It's not that big a deal. It is a big deal, and it means a ton. And if I could give each one of you, every single one of you out there, all these beautiful roses, I would. And, Corey, that was a fantastic thing for you to do. I really want to thank you. And I want to thank everybody. This has been an amazing thing to watch and see young people coming together, taking a stand, making a difference all across the world. It's awesome. I mean, it's one of the neatest things I've seen since I was a hippie in the 60s. I mean, I just think it's fantastic, and I feel very honored to be part of it, and I love all of you. I want to thank each one of you. Like I said, there's really cool things happening that are just kind of popping all around the place, so every day new things are happening, and it's because of each one of you. So thank you. Thank you, Corey. Thank you, each person out there who is taking a stand, making a difference, okay? And I will talk to you soon. Have a wonderful week. Now, see you on March 15th. Don't forget that. Bring your friends. We're going to have a party. It's L. Ron Hubbard's birthday, so don't forget about that. All right. Later, alligators. Bye-bye.